Hey everybody, I'm Shane. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. All right, we have set up uh, an auto download for uh, Adobe Flash for Firefox. The great thing about auto downloads is once you've downloaded it once, when a new one comes down, on your settings, you're gonna get the freshies mm -hmm. as they come along. Yeah, on your settings, it's based off the approval settings. Mm -hmm. So notice, uh, we've got a handful of packages here. Notice this key pass, by the way, that's the old uh, package icon. That means if you see that icon, that does not get auto downloaded. It's not uh, updated automatically. You'll retain that version mm. you know, till you delete it, I guess. Correct, when you see uh, the little arrow surrounding, you know, going around the old package icon, that's when you're you know that this is set up for auto download. But if you look down on your status bar, you see one auto download approval is waiting. Go ahead and click that. That takes you to the package library, right to the updates tab. You can see all these uh, packages down here have been updated, but one in particular that we've already downloaded is Flash for Firefox. And you can tell we've got the old version, 270187, right there, but there's a new one, version 28. Nice. So it's going to be approved after three days automatically. If we don't do anything else, then it's going to automatically download after three days and if we, just, oh, go ahead. if we have this attached to any schedules or anything, that's going to go right out the new version. But we have the option of approving it. Go ahead, Lex. Now, the thing I just propped up here is your preferences. You can set like a standard download for pretty much anything you download. If you don't want to reset it, you would do that here. The default right now is seven days. Mm -hmm. Seven days. But you can change that. The, the, well, the default is seven days. You can change that for each package that you uh, configure. So for... Um, you know, for Adobe Flash or Firefox, we have that set for three days. But all you have to do is select that and approve now. That's if you've done your testing and you're like, you know what, I want version 28 to be the new one. We'll just approve that now. You can see that this old version 27 has now got the download icon and it's been changed to 28. Love that. So once again, anytime this is scheduled for, uh, anytime this is a part of a schedule, or if I just went out there, same package, and said I want to deploy this right now, it's deploying the latest version. I love it. Keeps things nice and simple, and mm -hmm. I don't have to think too much about it. That's it, right? Well, that's, that's, what we're, that's what we're shooting for, is set it and forget it. So that's how you approve packages, uh, auto-download packages that you have already configured. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.